You're watching F-165. Hey guys, there's another ugly Jeep and a Challenger. I don't know who car that is, but um, it needs some tires on the front of it. That's not what the video is about. The video is about this 2004 Trailblazer. I bought it back in 2008. It's got 178, I think it's 180,000. It's got the original motor. I just had the transmission rebuilt. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. I'm supposed to make a damn video about my old stereo system in here. I made a video back in 2012. We're talking about nine years ago. Ow! thing I hate about this trailblazer the wheelbase is so short if you want to fold the front the back seats you have to slide the front seats forward then you can unlock this unlock this and there it is Reach in, grab this one, pull it up. Those are the wires coming from the radio. By the way, I didn't do this. Every stain you see in here is from somebody else. Hey, I've been looking for that. Been looking for this too? Hey, been looking for that. Hey, you been looking for that too? Okay. This is my Soundstorm Lavatory, SSL. That is also a Soundstorm Lavatory, SSL. Now, people talked about my cheap Walmart speakers nine years ago. They talked about, let me show you my cheap ground. Wow. <clears throat> People talk, oh, you're not getting full power. You're not getting full power. It's not going to last. It's going to burn up the amp. All that noise. Where is that ground wire? This is the same ground wire I've been using for nine years. Nine years. Nine years, fellas. And, um... And this speaker about looked a lot bigger when I first bought it. Now it looks small. Guess I need to go get me a bigger speaker box. So y'all are wondering like, well, Black, when are you going to show us the speakers? The speakers are old, man. The speakers are old. Look at that. That's how old my speakers are. They don't turn yellow. Black Moor. But they ain't dry rotted. And why am I covering it up anyway? It's an old speaker. Well, I used to park it up here and I was afraid somebody was going to break in and steal it if they saw it. But hell, I don't park it up here much no more. And they still work. But yeah, people talked about that grind. Well, you need zero gauge. You need zero gauge. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ever. I keep telling y'all. Ooh. Oh, by the way, this is 1500 watt and that's 1000 watt. 2500 watts. I keep telling y'all the people who make videos, people who try to sell you stuff, ain't always telling you the truth. You don't have to torque a wheel to 150 PSI to keep the wheel from coming off. I mean, pound per square inch. I mean, 150 pound-feet of torque to keep a lug net from coming off. 
a lot of people believe that. Oh, you got to. No, you don't. No, you don't. How do I know? I've never talked to E-Lugs. You don't see them coming off. You don't have to do every single thing by the book. In other words, if the white man said, you don't have to necessarily do it. Anywho, you know, I would play it for y'all, but you know what's gonna happen if I play it, right? So I can't play it. Dre, I hope you enjoyed the video.